Have you ever seen somebody put the word air power underneath an Air Force related photo on social media? When I say air power, I mean it's spelled H-E-I-R power. Have you ever seen that? I have, and I think a few of you have too. Um, the guy who came up with that phrase, who coined the phrase air power, is retired Chief Master Sergeant Bob Vasquez. Now, when I hear the word airman, this is the guy who I think of. He is an airman through and through. He's a chief's chief. He's an incredible leader, incredible author, a motivational speaker, and someone who truly has dedicated his life to the Air Force. Now with most of my podcasts, I have three topics that I like to hit on that I discuss with whoever I'm interviewing beforehand. I sent that same form to Chief and he didn't fill it out. Why? Because he just does everything off the cuff and you know what? I just let him do it. I just let him be the, the Chief Vasquez that we all know and the conversation just went in uh, a bunch of different ways that I think you will find highly entertaining. Uh, and very inspirational. Uh, and then we wrap the conversation up by talking about one of his new books that's coming out uh, hopefully next year. It's unreleased. It's called uh, Beyond the Little Blue Book. Our current blue book, America's Air Force, A Profession of Arms. It's on all of our desktops and it lists all of our values. And Chief Vasquez's book, Beyond the Little Blue Book, goes in depth on each one of those values with a story from his life and he's met presidents, uh, famous authors such as Simon Sinek. So as soon as you see Beyond the Little Blue Book by Chief Bob Vasquez come out, definitely pick it up. In the meantime, I would buy So You Wanna Be the Chief. Uh, that's one of his best works. And if you're an airman who's all in, then you need to read this book. But without further ado, this is the legendary Chief Bob Vasquez. Let's get after it. Well, thanks for having me on the show, Josh. I appreciate it. And thanks for saying all those good things. You, you said it just like I wrote it. Thank you for reading it uh, properly, because some people just screw it up, you know. But uh, <laughs> anyway. You nailed it. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm Chief Master Sergeant Retired Bob Vasquez. I produce Shining Stars for the United States of America. Now, let me tell you something about this place we call America. There's no place like this place anywhere near this place. Uh, I've been serving for, um, in fact, I just went over 49 years. Uh, I'm thinking about making it a career. I'm not sure yet, but I'm kind of pushing toward that uh, that direction, you know? But um, <laughs> most people's impact, everyone has an impact in the Air Force, right? That impact could be a pebble in the ocean and there's a little bit of ripples. It could be a rock in the ocean. There's a little more ripples, right? Everyone has some impact. But Chief, I think you're a meteorite hitting the center of the Pacific for your impact. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I'll take that as a compliment. Uh, it is. I, I, I'm trying to lose some weight, Josh, okay? <laughs> I know you're giving me crap about that, but I'm, I'm, I'm working on that, okay? As you're using that analogy about pebbles and rocks and meteors and all that kind of stuff, my, my intent is never to be a meteor. My intent is always to be that pebble. But those little things, you know, that... Uh, for instance, all of us can have an impact on someone daily by saying hello to them. I call it acknowledging presence. They're there. You know, and the, there's a really a, a great movie. Oh, man, I can't think of what, what women want. He, he, could, he could read women's, well, everybody's, I guess, uh, their thoughts. And... And of course, there's that, the, the big story is about that, being able to do that and all, all that. But there's a secondary story in there where there's this young lady, we might call her a gopher because her, her job was to go for everything. You know, she was just one of those people that went and she had a huge impact, but nobody even cared that she existed. In fact, and he starts hearing her, uh, her thoughts. And if you remember, she starts to become suicidal. And near the end of the, the movie, he hears her say, and I don't remember exactly what she said, but basically I'm gonna go kill myself. And he goes out of his way to go find her. If I remember, it's like through the storms and rain and all that kind of stuff to go find her because she's about to kill herself. You know, Josh, and we have a problem, you know this, and especially as a medic, with suicide in our country, especially in the military, 
particularly as airmen. Uh, what would we lost a hundred people or so last year to suicide? Uh, that's one is too many. A hundred is way, way more than we ever should or want to have. But there are people walking around your shop, your hospital, possibly, probably, I'd say probably, unfortunately, thinking about that. You know, and, and I, I read this um, on Facebook, I can't remember, a couple of years ago, uh, about a person who uh, who had committed or tried to commit suicide, but uh, didn't do it, thank goodness, but she, she had this thought that she shared. It's not that I wanted to die, I just didn't want to live this life. The point in that is that we can affect that often by just saying hello. Because when we say hello to someone or good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is, that's saying, I appreciate that you're here at all. I'm acknowledging your presence. Now, as leaders in particular, you know, supervisors, uh, whatever you want, the term you want to use, I think there's value in acknowledging their presence, that they're there. That's number one and acknowledging their presence that they're a gift. What is my purpose in, in this life that I'm uh, experiencing? And we can affect that in a positive way by doing that pebble thing. Just a little tiny thing. Good morning, Master Sergeant. That in itself can have a huge effect, especially if you're having a bad day. You know, you're thinking, man, uh, uh, no one cares about me. Oh, there's a chief, he just said hello to me. He must care. All of a sudden, it's already changed. Now, I'm not saying that that's a solution for, for suicide. I'm not an expert in that. I'm just saying that for most of us, that could have an effect. Man, I, I, I don't want to live this life for whatever reason. But all of a sudden, Master Sergeant White comes over and says, good morning. Wow. The, second, the next question, the follow-up question is, how are you doing? Interesting, Josh. You, you may not even know this. How are you doing is a question. You know, most of the time we don't, you guys don't use it as a question, but it is a question, which a question uh, uh, creates an answer. How are you doing, Master Sergeant? Oh, not so good, Chief. Now I have a choice. Am I going to listen to you to tell me what, what's going on? Or, or, or I can do like you. Uh, how are you doing, Master Sergeant? Oh, not so good, Chief. Well, have a nice day anyway. You, you know, you're not going to be very successful by any definition if you do that. And what I may, in fact, do by listening to you is, in a way, save your life. Because I was about to commit suicide. I, I, I don't value myself. No one values me. The only way is out. I do not want to live this life. I don't want to really. I really don't want to die. But I don't want to live this life. The only choice I have. It's not really the, the truth. The only choice I have is to go out. But here comes yeah. Master Sergeant White. I have a friend, a very close friend who I didn't know uh, had uh, issues with uh, depression and all that kind of stuff, considered suicide several times, but he was a chief. You know, wow. the chief would never do that. Well, chiefs are people too. And, you know, th there's nothing wrong with going up. And that, it doesn't matter who and saying, hello, good morning. How are you? And if, you, and if you don't have time to, answer, to listen for the, the answer, then maybe just good morning, good to see you. Now, what did you just say? I care. And I hope, I, I'm, I'm glad I saw you. I just acknowledged your presence. Maybe not the presence part, the gift part, because we didn't get that far, but at least I acknowledge that you're here. Yeah, we, we can't lose sight of the little things, right? Those little interactions. Um, we definitely need to value the small things more, I think. The small things like, how are you? How are you doing? Taking five minutes to talk with your team. Um, ask what they did this past weekend. So I think that's what, that's what really resonated with me uh, hearing you just now was just that those little things can go a long way. And we should definitely keep that on our mind as we approach our teams. And it starts with you, Josh, with me, with us, each individual. You know, one of the things that I really have uh, in, in my...